Elon Musk wants to pivot his focus from EVs to humanoids and has convinced the Tesla board to pay him $1 trillion if he succeeds. Now, Amazon deployed its 1 millionth robot in 2025 and announced an investment of $1 billion in warehouse robotics. Now, in case you're wondering, the distinction between a robot and a humanoid is not just physical likeness. Humanoids are typically powered by AI and are moving towards autonomous operation. Both robots and humanoids clearly are here to stay. Automation has always been the holy grail for factory lines. And manufacturers across the spectrum, from automobiles to consumer electronics, have incorporated robots and automated industrial technology on their shop floors. So with artificial intelligence, a different caliber of robots is being born. Not just automatons designed to accomplish repetitive tasks, this class of robots is capable of distinguishing between actions, taking decisions, and tackling tasks that need nuance and understanding. In the rolling hills of Italy's wine country, amid rows of grape wines that have been tended by hand for centuries, vintners are trying to see if a robot can pick grapes. Frasky, the robot, has in fact been designed to do much more. See every grape cluster, map every leaf, and understand a vineyard the way a human expert would. Prasky is a, a robot that we intended to work in um, vineyards to do precision agriculture activities. So the basic idea is that we can digitalize our wine vineyards and we can have uh, uh, the idea and the location of every grapes that uh, is located in the grub, in the, in the vineyards. At first glance, it doesn't look much like a robot. Prasky could be easily mistaken for a small four-wheeled rover you'd expect to find on a space mission. And that's not entirely off the mark. Frasky is certainly well equipped. Using cameras, sensors and artificial intelligence, it can identify individual grape clusters, track their growth and even detect early signs of stress or disease. In vineyard, the problem is not just collect the grapes, but also do action during the year to maintain the vineyards. This is an aspect that today is um, challenging for who manage big vineyards because uh, you need the people and you need expertise that are not easy to find. This, uh, with this kind of solution, we provide to the user and to people that work in the vineyards a tool that can accompany them during the all over the year activities of, of the vineyards. In this way, they can uh, do multiple action in, uh, in the same time. Developed by a Japanese robotics manufacturer called Enactic, Open Arm is a robot designed to step into short-staffed care homes and busy households. It doesn't look or move like a robot, instead it works with balance, softness and a human-like approach to touch. The actual robots that we'll deploy will be very different to this. Um, but I think w when we start building the whole body, um, the arms is by far the most important part um, in like AI training and also just like having good like operability um, through teleoperation is very important. So we wanted to make the arm part open source and sort of like gain as much feedback and iterate on the hardware, iterate on the software stack as fast as possible. Its main purpose is simple, handle daily chores. And while these routine tasks don't need human intelligence, they do need a high degree of dexterity. Given that, it's no small feat that open arm can wash dishes, sort clothes and fold laundry. Precisely the kind of tasks that tend to pile up for caregivers. Let's say you're trying to like pick up the cup and like pour it into another cup. Um, you can like show, you know, 50 demonstrations of it um, using this whole operation setup. And um, yeah, and then, and then you can train the AI model, you can fine tune it. Um, and, and, you, and they'll be able to perform the test autonomously. 
Using 3D perception, gentle grippers and AI guided movement, the robot learns the shape, weight and character of everyday objects. It adapts its motions the way a human would, with care and consistency. Chinese robotics company Xpeng's new humanoid is a leap towards physical AI. It has a flexible spine, artificial muscles and a soft synthetic skin that can sense touch. The robot has an impressive range of movement with more than 80 degrees of freedom across its body and highly detailed control in its hand movements. These allow Ion to walk smoothly, grip objects with precision and perform tasks that require delicate coordination. Well, I mean, you can actually, with the right amount of data and training, with the dexterity and also the human-like, you know, sort of a uh, robot figure we're developing, I think it can suit into almost every human roles that you ask them to perform. It can be, you know, uh, 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 a nanny at home, could be a chef at home, could be a gardener at home. You know, they can be trained to do all these tasks. Its motion system uses advanced joints, that help it move naturally and consistently. Xpeng's robot also uses vision-based control and a high response actuation setup that give it a natural grounded gait. In fact, its movements are so fluid that on social media, users even suggested that there was a human hiding inside the robot's skin. The company later released a video to prove that Ion is, in fact, not human, but a humanoid.